Hi guys, welcome back to another video and uh, another uh, road trip. So today I am heading down to a couple of music stores. Um, well, I'm hoping to visit two, but I don't know what's going to go on with the weather. So the first stop is going to be Anderton's and then I want to hit um, possibly my favourite guitar store uh, is Guitar Village because that's awesome. It'd be cool to, uh, to show you around. But I've been on the road for about an hour, um, just stopped to get you know, coffee, it's nice and early in the morning. And uh, yeah, so you will probably rejoin me uh, at Anderton's. So I'll see you in a minute. So I've made it to Anderton's and so far the weather is on site. I've just had a quick word with them just to say, look, is it all right to film and stuff? Uh, Cause they're quite busy. And they said, yeah, it's fine. It's just, you gotta, you know, just watch out for customers and stuff like that. So uh, I think let's, uh, let's head on inside. wanting to try the twin reverb tone master i have plugged it in once but never sort of got to know it so just want to see kind of how loud it is and how much breakup i can get at reasonable volume but as we're learning it stays pretty clean um well pretty much all the time and that is at its lowest attenuation so if i turn it up one let's see where we're at now already is over home volume for sure. in front of that just to get a little bit more kind of break up to it I reckon. So I just want to check out the reverb in this thing and bear in mind it is at its lowest attenuation as well. To be fair overall they're louder than I remember but this is the twin I was a bit more kind of familiar with the deluxe. Let's try what the reverb is like max. Thank you. 
it's a nice reverb. It's 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 real dark though. I expected the reverb to sort of have a bit more brightness to it because that's that's flat out pretty much. So I don't know. I think I'd have to go and get a deluxe and try that against it. So we've come out of Anderton's and gone to um, our next stop, which as you can see behind me, or might be able to see behind me, just there, is Guitar Village. So we're gonna go and have a look around there. If you've never been here before or seen footage here before, it is, you know, an incredible place. So let me, uh, let me show you around. Just a quick one from Paul from the future uh, before we go into Guitar Village. So obviously I don't just walk into these stores and start filming, you know, I go in beforehand and ask, you know, is it all right if I film in here? So I popped into Guitar Village and sort of spoke to the main main governor there, if you like, and said, you know, is it all right if I film? And um, he, he actually kind of said, you know, we, we're not super keen on, on people filming. It's, it's private property and that sort of thing, uh, which, is, which is fine. That's fair enough. So I was just, you know, not going to film Guitar Village. And then the guy that was sat next to him said, actually, no, it's fine. You can go in and film just just beware of customers and stuff like that, a bit like Anderton's. So I had sort of, I was a bit sort of like, you know, can I film or not? So I, I did a little bit of filming in there, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't super sure if they were okay with me filming or not. So uh, just bear that in mind going forward, because, you know, it's not like they have a clue who I am sort of thing. I'm just turning up asking to film. So I totally, uh, totally get where they're coming from and all that. Uh, but like I said, just bear that in mind. And then um, I will be back afterwards to kind of sum up the day and, uh, and, you know all the things we sort of tried out and stuff like that so i will see you uh, see you in a minute <laughs> try this Cornell amp here and uh, handed this guitar which I think is the most expensive strat I've ever played in my life but <laughs> let's, uh, let's have, have a go.
there seems to be like really clean and then you try and attenuate it a bit more and turn the volume up and you're getting into a lot more drive with this corner now there's less in between than i thought maybe you know? reverb on sort of between six and seven. Earlier on when I said the twins reverb was real dark, there's much more kind of frequency going on that reverb. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. It's not just, it's more, way more open sounding reverb. Right now I've got that on the max attenuation and volume at four, and that's 100% manageable volume. Let me just show you what happens real quick because I'm in the store. If you remove the EQ though, so this is the volume we've got now, I use a pick. EQ out. You're getting a lot of volume, so you definitely want to have the EQ in if you find yourself trying with these. I'm gonna try the reverb up a bit. Let's try and... So if I back the volume off and come down one on the attenuator. This has got like 11 to 52s on. It's a pretty uh, heavy, heavy gauge guitar to play. My takeaway from this amp is that the reverb is just so much nicer than the twin we heard earlier. So second Tone Master of the day, and I've been playing this for a few minutes, and this is the Tone Master to get, in my view. Super reverb.
there we go then back home now after a sort of about a three hour drive uh, we everything worked out pretty well uh, with the weather today and like i said i've come back home now and uh having a little having a little play on my own stratocaster and i tell you what feels great is that earlier on uh, that strat that i played at guitar village was you know a master built five grand something stratocaster and i can honestly say that i 100 percent prefer everything about mine which just feels great you know when, when you play the guitar like that and you come home and play play your own that you put together and, and like you prefer it so i'm really pleased with that uh, but that's irrelevant uh today's sort of main objective if you like it wasn't it wasn't about um going and buying stuff it was about learning of all the amps that i'm currently looking at you know the, the twin tone master the super reverb didn't get to play the duchess but you know that's fair enough uh, and the corn owl you know which of those amps do i actually like and you can watch as many videos as you like you can read as many spec sheets and stuff like that as you like but the best thing to do is to get yourself to wherever this stuff is which i which i've always done you know and and get it in your hands and experience it for real because then then you'll know you know what is for you and i really thought the cornell was gonna was gonna win the day by miles i thought that was going to be the amp you know that i would look to get next but um i'm just shocked to say that my favorite of the day was the super reverb tone master and i made a bit of a mistake earlier in anderton's when i said i played the twin before what i meant was i played the deluxe before and um and the super before but i'd never played the twin and you know, not to say that the twin was bad, but for me, it wasn't it wasn't getting anywhere near the deluxe or the super. And like I said, playing the super at the end at Guitar Village, for me, it's confirmed that is my next amp. It's the sound that I'm missing with the sounds that I can get. I just cannot get that blackface Fender sound and, and the twin super tone master, uh, twin super tone master. It's been a long day, folks. Uh, the, su the super tone master, for me, that's got the sound that I'm missing, and um, that's definitely the amp I want to go for next. So, um, so yeah, that's it. Obviously, these sort of videos are quite uh, quite new for me on this channel, and because I'm not doing the shop stuff anymore, this is the kind of stuff that I'd like to do. Um, you know, like to do a lot more of. So please let me know uh, down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, as a little bonus as well, in the uh, timestamps on this video, I've put Les Paul of the day, Strat of the day, and Telly of the day. And man, they were three of the like nicest Strat Telly or Les Pauls that I've ever seen. So let me know uh, which one of those was your favourite today as well. Obviously, uh, all of which serious, serious money. But, you know, just purely in terms of visual, which was your favourite. Uh, and that's it for this video. So I will see you again very, very soon for another one. And uh, thank you very much for watching as always. And uh, that's it. I'll see you again.